Hello everybody and welcome to my channel Synonomics. I'm getting a lot of good support from you. Many of you are commenting on that, liking it. So a big thank you to all of you for liking this channel. Today I want to take some time to reflect on that. So let's start with why Synonomics? Why Economics? So Economics is basically the crux of life. The purpose of this channel, in fact, is to create financial awareness so that you can make your own decisions, act on it, and make money. In order to make money, economic plays a very important role. And that's why the name is economics. If you look at the definition, normal definition of the books, what is economics? Actually, many of the textbooks describe that as a social science dealing with production, distribution, and consumption of goods and services. But a much modern and better definition, which I have a little bit modified as well, is economics is the optimal utilization of the scarce resources we have. Yes, you have heard it right optimal utilization of the scarce resources and guess what anything that you call resource is scarce yes you talk about money you talk about time you talk about happiness you talk about peace of mind you talk about other stuff like hey friendship for an example that's also scarce you can have many friends but very few real friends. So I'm going to talk about all of that in this channel. Guys, making money is not that simple. It's not easy. Though many of them have described it very, in a very simple terms. Hey, you can make a lot of money in stock market by buying low and selling high. But how many of them can do it? How many of us can do it? Hardly few. Many of them say, hey, buy property, hold it for 20 years, and that will appreciate by four to five times. So simple. But how many of us are able to do that? People have been buying crypto, futures, options all over the places. And guess what? Most of the people who go to the market unprepared lose money. Yes, you have heard it right. They lose money. According to a lot of survey, and recently there was a survey in India by SEBI. Before that, there was a survey in US that 95% of the options and future traders, derivative traders, they lose money. And the, guess what? You have to compete with all these big financial houses like Goldman Sachs, Morgan Stanley, Bank of America, and all these guys, basically. So, making money is not easy. It's not just a matter of economics. It's not just a matter of finance. It's not just a matter of learning one subject. It's a holistic discipline, by the way. In my personal opinion, you need five things for prosperity. Yes, you've heard it right again. Five things, money, meditation, how to meditate to make money. You need to have the right, right mindset, guys. You need to have the right, right relationship with the money. Yes, you need to establish the right relationship with money. Then motivation, you should be motivated to make money. All the time, depressed people don't make money. <laughs> You need to be hyper all the time, motivated. So I'll talk about motivation. I'll talk about meditation. Music. Money is music. Without money, you cannot have music of life. I'll talk about music as well a little bit later. And finally, malt. Many of you are thinking, I'm talking, going to talk about malt, single malt, blended whiskey, 
blended malt. Yeah, I will talk about that as well. But guess what? Malt is a metaphor here. Money is malt, guys. Money is malt. Once you'll have a lot of money, you'll feel squiffiness. You'll feel a little bit of you know, mellowness. You will feel tipsy and you will be in trance. Money, success, power brings trance. People feel like as if they are drunk. What I'm going to teach you is how to be in control when you are in trance. Some of you who, who drink, which I'm not going to advocate in this channel, but I'm just trying to leverage that experience. A stage comes when you're a little bit, little bit tipsy, squiffy, little bit in, you feel a little bit heavy, but you feel better. Not all drunk and all those, yeah? If some of you get drunk while drinking any of those, please stop it. That's not meant for you. Your body is not meant for that. Stop it. So, money is malt. Money is mindfulness. Malt is a metaphor of mindfulness here. You need to be mindful of what you're doing. Once you have success, once you have money, once you have power, you need to be more mindful. So I'll tell you more about that as well in this channel. So, and why synonomics? So synonomics is basically economics from the eyes of Sinha. Yes, I'm Sinha, Pankaj Sinha, your friend, your life coach. Why life coach? Why not a teacher? Why not a guru? Let me explain that to you. So teaching has been my passion. Though I spent all my life working in a multinational company, an IT, a large IT company. But I started with teaching. I started with teaching in engineering colleges. Started from the college where I graduated. Then I was a lecturer in Delhi College of Engineering. Then I came to US, Australia. I came to Australia for higher studies. Here I did a lot of tutoring. And I loved it. So YouTube, I feel, is a great channel to share my knowledge, to teach. I would call that to coach. And all these things are coming from the experience, my interaction with the people. I've spent almost 10 years in Singapore, more than that in Australia. Of course, I was born and brought up in India. And for my work throughout my life, I have worked with Americans. So these are the four countries I understand much better. And if you understand Singapore, you understand China. 73% of Singapore population is of Chinese origin. Almost 16, 18% is Malay. So if you know Singapore, you know Malaysia. You know Indonesia. <laughs> so guys, life has given me great opportunity to make a lot of good friends, to meet a lot of good people and visit many countries. On top of that, look at the background. I'm a bibliophile. I love reading. I love books. And I'll recommend all of you to be one of them. Fall in love with books. And nowadays it's so easy. You can have audio books. You can watch everything on the YouTube, whatever. But fall in love with books. You can see the wall behind me. I have almost 600 books here, physically. Most of them I have read. Some I'm reading. The ones I don't like, which I did not read, I have donated that to Salvation Army or to some of my friends who are, who have that interest. Because if you don't like something, why, why you want to keep them? That's the basic philosophy I have. 
value people who value you. Don't keep things whom you don't like. Why? And let me give you a little bit of a color on these books as well. So most of these books are related to parapsychology, finance, management, and non-fictions. Some you can also see are related to spiritual knowledge. And I'm going to give all the blend to you that in this channel. That's why this channel is different, guys. It's not just another channel of finance and money. Because this tells you how to get it. How to develop the mindset for that. Are you ready? Are you ready to get money? Just imagine if I if somebody gives you $100 million today, what are you going to do about it? Are you ready to get it? You need to get ready. Are you motivated to use that money for something? Or you only think, oh, I'll buy a great house and a big car and go for a world tour and no, nothing beyond that. Have you thought about what the world will benefit out of that? What the universe will be benefiting out of that? Are you going to take care of the disadvantaged in the society? All those things are there I'm going to teach you. And if you really look at that, I'll give you a little bit of uh, analogy that why I think I can teach you, why I think I'm a good teacher. Let me explain that to you. If you, if you compare our brain with the hard disk of a computer, it's exactly the same. When you buy a computer and there's no hard, not, there's nothing in the hard disk, is as, as good as a box for you. So the first thing you have to do is the operating system, OS. When we were learning computer in the engineering colleges, in the early 90s, late 80s, or mid, mid 90s, something like that, you know, we, we were pretty much learning the languages to interact with the computer. You needed Fortran languages. Those were taught in the mid, mid 90s in most of the engineering colleges before Windows came into picture. What window Windows do or what, what Windows did, actually it created a user interface where you can interact with the computer the way you want to. You want to type something, you write it. You don't need a typewriter. You want to do some calculations, you don't need to write a program for that. You open the Excel and click on this. I'm talking about Office, of course. And it will give you all the calculations. You can do spread large, large spreadsheets. Before that, the balance sheets and the profit and loss statements were made on the paper, guys, in the long paper. The accountants used to just write and prepare the long sheets. All those have changed. And then comes the other data. So our brain is just like that. When a kid is born, his brain is blank. Slowly he gets the OS, operating system, whether it's a Windows or you know iOS or whatever it is, depending on which country, culture, background you're born, you get an OS. OS is a guideline for us that teaches us the moral value, ethical values with which we work. Once it's there, then we study. Basically, what are we doing? We are loading our hard disk, our brain, with the data. You learn multiple disciplines, multiple subjects. Some you need, some you don't even need in life. Right? History you don't need in life. You just, you live, just to familiarize yourself. Geography, if you're not interested in this. I mean, let's not get there. But the whole idea is that we study, we learn gradually, and we actually fill our brain with multiple data. And then we develop our own interest, which you're seeing in my background. Then we start learning more about the areas of our interest. And once you start learning, filling your brain with the data, you develop the power to analyze. You have your own views, by the way. And if you don't trust me, you pick one topic. 
and read 10 books on that. And I'm sure you'll have your own views on that topic. After reading 10 books, you can agree with somebody, some writer, you can disagree with some writer. You, you will blend that in your own culture, your own way of thinking, your own ethical uh, patterns. And you'll say, hey, I think this would be the one for this particular topic. So you'll take some from one book, another from some, some from another book and all those and blend it all. Mix with your own idiosyncrasies, your own personality, your own culture, your own way of thinking and come out with something of your own idea. And that's what is important. That's what has happened with me. I've read a lot of so many books and my areas of interest is wide. So I'm an engineer by profession, finance, financial analyst, I would call it from a profession perspective, spend all, most of my life in selling product and services. But at the end of the day, I have varied interest, which ranges from philosophy, astrology, psychology, parapsychology, management, finance, and of course, to understand human and human behavior. And why, why a coach? Let's understand the difference between the teacher, a coach and a guru. A teacher is somebody who actually tells you something about this external world. When we go to the school, college, we meet teachers who tell us what is language, what is physics, what's chemistry, how all these things were come into picture, how they're useful to us. Guru, on the other hand, teaches you something to connect with yourself. Normally gurus can be somebody who has a lot of knowledge about a topic. That's why we, we use loosely use that. By the way, guru is a word adopted by in, in English from Hindi, Sanskrit. So the real meaning of guru is the somebody who guides you in your spiritual journey. Even though we say he's a guru of something X, Y, Z. Guru of finance means he has a lot of knowledge of finance. But actual guru is somebody who actually connects you with yourself. Helps you in your spiritual journey. So someone who teaches you about external things is a teacher. The one who connects you with yourself, with your inner self is guru. And coach is someone who has been there, done that. Doesn't matter whether he's successful or not successful. But he has been there. He has some hands-on experience. Only then there can be a coach. And that's why I am there for you, to guide you throughout your journey of making money. Because I have been there, done that. Learned it. Hard way. Learn from many gurus. And one, one person I like to quote is Warren Buffett. Yes, the sage of Omaha is kind of, you know, I'm, I'm the self-anointed student of him. <laughs> he doesn't know me. <laughs> but I, I love him. Similarly, you have to find somebody, not me. Who am I? You have to find somebody whom you like, admire, who's thinking you like, from whom you can learn a lot in the area of your interest. So guys, a lot of good things is going to happen in this channel. And that's why this channel is different. Not like any other channel which talks. Either they'll talk about meditation, they'll talk about motivation, they'll talk about more, they'll talk about music, they'll talk about just money. This is actually blended all together because making money is not easy. I'll repeat that. To make money, you need to have the right mindset, which you can develop by meditation. You should have motivation to make it. You should enjoy that as well. What's the fun in having money and not enjoying it? Enjoyment can be different for different people. For some people, 
owning a Tesla, high-end Tesla, is enjoyment. For some people, buying Tesla stock and watching it grow from $100 to $3,000 is enjoyment. Yes, Tesla has gone to $3,000, by the way. The last three years, first Tesla split one to five. The one share became five. And then recently, it split last year to three. So five share became 15. So the price you're seeing right now, $260 per share is actually one share became 15 shares. So Tesla is not $260 a share. If you had bought Tesla in 2020, right now, your one share is worth 260 times 15. Correct. Think about it. So, pleasure can be different. Different stroke for different folks, guys. One meat, one person's meat is another person's poison. So, it's all personal. Well, and lastly, malt. Money is malt. Money is mindfulness. You need to be mindful. If, if God gives you money, you shouldn't be unmindful of that. You should have gratitude. You should thank people who have contributed to your life. You should be in control. Even though you are in trance, in trance, you should be in control. Even if you are feeling a bit squiffy, enjoying it, enjoying the ride, but be mindful. With that, I'll once again thank you all for your support. And if you like this kind of content, and I explained it to you, why this channel is different, and why I'm going to coach you. If you like it, please share and subscribe. And don't forget to put the bell icon. The things I will discuss here are not recommendations. So before investing, please consult your financial advisor. Remember, the purpose of this channel is to create financial awareness so that you can make your own decision and make money. With that, it's a goodbye from your friend, from your life coach, Pankasina. Bye-bye.